Dr. John McConnell and Dr. Jennifer Miles Thomas are joining me now, and we're talking about the economics of healthcare, more especially physician compensation, and really how these models are changing. Can you talk about that? Yeah, there's been pretty radical change in the last 10, 15 years. It's been driven by several forces. One is more and more physicians are being employed uh, by health systems and other entities. Uh, and the practices even that are independent are getting larger and larger, and they've had to move towards systems uh, that are much more formulaic in the way that physicians are compensated. And there's a good part of that in terms of simplicity, transparency, uh, but it's been, uh, been very challenging for many physicians to live in this new world. So do you have advice for physicians on how to navigate that to really maximize their potential for compensation? Yes, I do. I, I think the first important aspect is to understand how you are compensated. And a lot of physicians, including myself, when we first start out, we really don't understand the models or why we are compensated a certain way. So I think it's important for each physician to understand how they're compensated and then to make sure that aligns with actually what the patient needs. And how can they take that and then be able to maximize the time with patients versus the time that they're taking to really focus on this stuff, which is also critically important? Yeah, I think, I think everything is a balance. And so honestly, in our practice and probably yours too, you really have to do a lot of prep work beforehand. You really need to walk in with a baseline understanding of what the patient needs during that, vis that visit and also come back with a plan for that patient so that you can be most effective during the time that you have. And you know, one of, the, one of the important points we covered in our course yesterday, especially for younger urologists looking at their first opportunity or so, is you're very focused on the compensation. You need to understand what the practice is like, what the culture is like. Is it dedicated to patient care? Are there resources available in terms of the staff support, equipment, et cetera, that would allow you to be maximally efficient? Because virtually all these models are, have some component of productivity and the more efficient you are, the better you're going to be. Right, I feel like what I'm hearing is if you get good at this, you know, figuring out the compensation, then you're going to be able to benefit your patients in a whole new way. Talk about how patients are actually doing better once physicians have a handle on all of this. Yes, I think that physicians can craft their schedule to be maximally effective, but maximally effective for the patient. So right now there are many different avenues, including mm -hmm. telemedicine, and some visits actually don't need to be in mm -hmm. person. So that definitely benefits those patients who maybe have difficulties coming into the office, or they're very busy professionals who still need that health care, and it's just the ability to do it on the go has significantly changed. What's the most important piece of advice that you would give a new physician now? You go first. <laughs> Ask questions. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I agree totally. <laughs> yeah, and again, I think the, the focus that many of the young people have in mind is I just, you know, I have debts. I need to know what the monetary component of, of my uh, new arrangement is, and that's very important. But some of these other factors I can take from my personal expense, things derail often be for non-financial reasons. The culture of the practice, resources, you find out after you get there that you have to go to outreach cl clinics and things that you were not aware of. So ask questions. So what's the best place to turn for those resources? I would say find a mentor because oh, you that's definitely good. can ask those mm -hmm. questions and you don't have to be in that situation where you may be asking asking the practice, someone that you're not as familiar with, you wanna ask those questions in a safe space so you can really dig deep and find the correct answers. Yeah, we're hoping over time, uh, we just launched last year this new AUA curriculum um, and then expanded on it uh, at, at this year's meeting, but hopefully the AUA itself will have additional resources, but I could not agree with Jennifer more. The best thing you can do is talk to more senior people uh, from a variety of experiences and uh, have somebody walk you through. The legal advice is important, but it's probably not the most important. Well, already you two have acted as mentors just by doing this interview. So Dr. McConnell, Dr. Miles Thomas, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.